Is it next time yet? Yes, yes it is. Oh good, hello, we're back! It's, it's, it's let them, let the game show. <laughs> and welcome back to Let Them Play Games! Today's topic is... Butts! And stuff. But adjacent things. So what question off the board would you like? Contestant Aaron. Uh, I'll take, um... I'll take cheeks for four, for 500. Oh. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's about the amount I'd go for. <laughs> I'll just get there. Just does it to everything. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. I don't care for that. Do the cutscene just untime freeze everything? <laughs> That's so I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, I think Punchline's still the best, just because you can surf it. I still haven't figured out how to do that again. Oh, like use it while jumping or something? Do I gotta break this? Oh, does it produce them? It's also gross and insectoid. Yeah. All right. Anything back here? Don't look like it. Advertisements, destroyed subway stuff. Was there anything in here? Imagine having to fix all this. No. I just, <laughs> just suck. I mean, really, you wouldn't. This is where we came from, right? Yeah. Mm. Like, take take like a decades of work to put the city back in any sort of resemblance of working order. Got me some Helter Skelter! Help. Because the Beatles. I get you. <laughs> I get you. I feel where you're coming from. I'm funny. It's pretty funny. Make, I make, like, relevant, but not immediately obvious pop culture references. Fuck you, how about... You will not be allowed to produce any more babies! I've only got the one left. <laughs> what? Just the punch <laughs> sending him off. It was lovely. Lizard boy. Yeah, man. There you go. Stunned as fuck. <laughs> Very nonchalant ending to that one. Mm, yeah. Anything Whew. in here that's worth looking at? Which way does it want me to go? Cool. Is there another way? Uh, yeah. Think so, and that's where it came from. Fuck. Of course. I knew that. It was a test. You you fast. What? Surprised not bumping into more phones down here. Like I know mechanically where we're not, but mm. I swear I aren't seeing any. Where's all the broken phones game? How come only the working ones are visible? It's also something that we talked about like a while back, is just the fact that pay phones are kinda of disappearing. Because of this through line of cell phones, like even there's plenty of homeless people have cell phones. Just making the traditional idea of a payphone not not as important. Every time I see one, I'm like, oh neat, like they're usually in a mall or occasionally near a bus stop. That's basically it. Those go quick, that's nice. Like enemies that die fast. <laughs> yeah, man. You said it. 
It's worse than those enemies that take forever to die. Oh, I hate those two kinds of enemies. We killed Needhog, didn't we? So why... I wonder if we'll, ever... we'll bump into any more of his little growths. Because mm, yeah, those parasites fair. were for him specifically. Oh, that's a mess. Oh, you see that? Hmm. I saw him down there. Oh. Our friend. Who's V? That was it. I was gonna say whose name I was forgotten. That was like right. It's a letter. I, uh, I, 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 I definitely just was thinking about Harry Potter because of the train station. Oh. I was like, uh, I enjoy that there are people in England who have the pleasure of watching kids show up at a train station and ram their faces into a brick wall. Yeah. Well, there go my hands. <gasps> yeah! That was good! That was a lot at once. Gotta get that thing before it barks out too many more enemies. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. I will. Got one last one out. <laughs> I love, still love that side long glance. Come on. Oh, I fucking love that so much. It really works basically exactly the same as the Devil Bringer, except not the Devil Bringer. Yeah. Like even they don't want to change his fundamental game design, but uh, but leave him in a place where he doesn't have freaking the Yamato in his arm. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, depowering Dante is never something that the games have ever had to do. Yeah. They just kind of assume that the challenge at hand around. is like capable of dealing with him. That's what she said. Or conversely, he's just sassy enough that he makes everything seem kind of simple to him, even if it's not. Yeah. And so, if a uh, fight seems particularly easy and he comments on it, it's usually like, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it, Dante? <laughs> yeah, do, 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 do. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, big ass demon arm plus the Yamato, it's like. That's a that's a shark to jump right there. Okay. This looks like a place where things happen. Metro. In case you didn't know, this is a place for trains. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come here, you little bat motherfucker. Fire vomit. And denied. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> oh. Well, let's not do much to these guys. Oh, there you go. <laughs> While they're charging up, it looks like it was the most. I used to spell uh, the bigger oh, bullets. Oh, charged it up? Yep. It's annoying that he doesn't have Devil Trigger for anything. I wish he did. I miss his Devil Trigger. E. I figured he might get it back by the end of the game. Hopefully. <laughs> no. You don't get to hit me, friend. I That's wi illegal. Wish I had an arm. If I only had an arm. Although, if it is Virgil, 
and the Yamato is fused with the arm. And if the two are inseparable at this point, that's a that's a hell of an opponent to have to go through to get the arm back. Yeah, though Virgil looked like he wasn't doing so well. Like he was all like, I'm running out of time. I really hope it's him, because like the last thing you see of Virgil's in Devil May Cry 1, where he's like brainwashed and been turned into a demon that's uh, hell bent on serving Mundus and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's not a it's not the ending that Virgil deserves, I think. Especially because the implication of the ending is that at the end of DMC3, he decides to try to challenge Mundus, being like, if my dad could do it, then so can I. Um, and then in DMC1, chronologically, when he comes back, he uh, is serving Mundus and is brainwashed. So it's like, well, didn't work out, huh? Wasn't too, wasn't too good for you. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. <laughs> Quit hitting yourself. <laughs> that was a good shot. Mm -hmm. Wish I had an arm. I love when you get one of those over, like, cinematic style shots from a, a fight, but like, something about the game fucks it up. So like it zo like hyper zooms in on an enemy that's just in the way of the camera. Yeah. And has like the slow mo bullet pass behind them into someone's head, and you're like, "Thanks, game." Woo. There we go. Got the Buster arm. I'm okay with that. Cause we a bunch of busters. Yeah, man, fixing this shit would be crap. Yeah. I mean, most of the city's gone, realistically. Or you could scav stuff out of it, and there's lots of supplies. I'm surprised these are working. Yeah. We'll assume it's the electric mushrooms. Fair assumption. See if it holds true. If we break them all, maybe it'll stop. I say you could leave. You're fucking this one up compared to the last time. Come on. Whew. Jesus. Damn your scissors! No, I want to grow a new pair. <laughs> there, got it. <laughs> They're just down there like, we can't move fast enough! The escalator defeats us and you, except it doesn't defeat you. That's cool. So that's what that looks like. But it doesn't seem to work on any big enemies, so I'm sort of upset with it. Yeah, you think you'd use it on like the bruisers of an area to thin them out so you can have an easier time with those guys. Well, looks like they're just working. To be fair, the lights and stuff are on. Yeah, sure. Oh, two of them. And gross lizards. These are making gross lizards! We need to get rid of these ASAP. I think vertical slashes do the best on them. Let me go through all that meaty bit. Makes sense. Come on. No, stop producing lizards. There. Now let's kill all the lizards. All the many lizards. They're 
pretty mean looking, I gotta say. Yeah, man, these little reptile boys. I like how their tails come out of, like, their upper back. They're not, like, actual mm -hmm. lizards. It's like they're humans with lizard snakes on their shoulders. Hey, okay, so we got a guy... Quote, an American conspiracy theory at one of the people running... I think running... Oh! I think it was, is he a prime minister? I think he's the... No, no, the premier, not prime minister. Premier of Alberta. I'm not 100%. I might be just trying to get pre, uh, Premier of Alberta. But some guy was just at, like, a political rally, and some guy was like, Trudeau's supporting Pizzagate, if you look it up or something from the crowd. And he's like, I didn't hear it. Like, they asked him later, I guess, which I don't know if I believe, but I also wouldn't respond to it. So I'm like, I mean, fair shake either way, man. Hmm. Been hearing more about that recently. Mm. The world's weird. It's like... There are there are conspiracy theories where they can sound kind of okay, and then there's some where if you look into anything at all, the overwhelming like immediate response is no, this is bogus, and here's everything as to why it's bogus. Oh, we're close to the big tree. Like I have a I have a close. conspiracy theory. Yeah, <laughs> I have a conspiracy theory friend, and he's just the guy that if I ever talk to him, he'll have something for me that will make me laugh. That's just fun. Stupid, but fun. Um, but that one, just harmful and dumb. I think I got Alex Jones suit a while back. Really? Yeah. Before, I think it was before he got most of his shows removed. But he, he was talking about Pizzagate. <laughs> hmm. And the owner of the pizzeria that was alleged in the original online post was like, hey, Defamation, Lord. I think they made it libel because they had it also written down. He's like, "This is something you need to say sorry for." And like, same with a couple other organizations that put it on a couple of, like tabloids and news websites got hit for it because they're like, "Yeah, all these evil, all those <laughs> evil politicians in this pizza shop <laughs> selling slaves." <laughs> I'm like that. Sometimes looks people say words like an event to this me. This looks like a boss room. What is this? Oh yeah, it's that one boss from Near Automata. Hell yeah, that would be really easy for him. I think. I think so. Yes. <laughs> Just single stab. Hmm. There you are! He back! Proto Angelo? Fractured Commander. Angelo? Are you... Virgil then? Scudo Angelo. Just, that might be Virgil. <laughs> nice! Getting the band back together, huh? What evil lurks. I must destroy. I thought that was the plan all along. Because Angelo, um, Angelo, I believe, was the name that, uh, that Virgil took whenever he was in Devil May Cry 1. Sliding boss fight. Oh, it's cool! That's, like, so stupid that it's the coolest thing in the universe. <laughs> Makes absolutely no sense, but it is Take so, this, Virgil! It Take is this! So metal. Everyone's Virgil. <laughs> Proto Angelo. Proto, wouldn't that be. No, Angel Lus is Angel, isn't it? So Angelo would be yeah. Proto Angel. Luckily, slow. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> He's definitely gonna start as one thing. Yep. And then boss fight stuff. Their shields are pissing me off. And me without an arm. I don't see one around. My main question is, do you think you can keep these guys down? I doubt you can. And there's no actual boss health bar. Yeah, just the regular enemy health bars.
Yeah, this is gonna shift real quick in a second. Has to. The background over there kind of looks painted, but it might be part of a stage. So, yeah, it is painted. Yeah. Do it to him. Let me see if I can. Yeah, you're one of the small ones. No shield on him either. They got a decent amount of health. Just <laughs> see you in this band <laughs> just beating the fuck. Well, it's gone. Yeah, they're killable. The shield makes it a bit tricky. Just gotta get them on the ground and hammer them over and over again. Don't let them get up. Can't block if you're on your back. This is Hadric's strategy for fighting. Shove followed by stab. Another one bites dust. Excuse me? <laughs> is this slacking? Is this what slacking looks like to you? Quit your slacking. Three. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to lose that. Yeah, got him. Just you, with your very little health. Hi. We're fighting. Oh, then that is definitely not Virgil. Yeah. I guess that's just a thing. Kind of devil. He's, she's right, you know. Don't turn. Style done. Nah. Badass. If, you, if there's gonna be a big reveal for something like that, I, I doubt they'd probably do him as a, like another demon and then turn back on himself. It's probably him in the cloak again. Yeah. Like, I'm running out of time. Ugh. X, X, X. Plus, he'd have the Yamato. Unless he was the big bad, which I still think is probably the current more likely. I don't know. Just because he took it, and why would Virgil take it, take Yamato out somehow, and then give the arm? Maybe that guy helped him Unless separate it. it. Yeah. From, uh, I don't know, just the, the game is depicting them as sounding different, and he sounded more desperate than the clearly super evil demon thing that's in the pod. Mm -hmm. Virgil's never re really been about, like, any kind of world conquest. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. So. Was that Kylo Ren looking motherfucker? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Slash one slash X One Direction member. Yeah. That was that. He is such a warlock. You're such a warlock. Thanks. <laughs> He's got a panther. <gasps> he has a panther and a hawk, and I think the hawk's voiced by Todd Haberkorn. Well, now I have to like him. Don't be being gross in your let's play. That's okay. That's such a good idea. Trust me. I do like his sleeve tattoos, though. They're pretty nice. Hmm. I appreciate a good hit. We're going to need all the help we can get. All right. Not the only one. No, no, I'm not the only one. He means the hawk. <laughs> oh. The hawk doesn't think it's a good idea. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> You're not a big secret. <laughs> you open this for me. I'm all weak and sick and pathetic. It's true, you are. Uh, fucking <laughs> Those hate two it. things are new at the end. Yo, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> I used to open my own jars before you told me it's what boys are for, and then I let you open my jars. <laughs> <laughs> We're good at it. It's true. It's what we do unless our is hands this are wet. Right? Yeah. What is this? Fucking, you just oh. stick it in your fucking nose and smell it. Oh. <laughs> it's like vapor rub without the gross rubbing part, you see. <laughs> and on that high note, we'll see you guys next time. I'll let them play games. Y'all are welcome.